Hi everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Phantom Brigade as the Bantha here travels across the countryside toward Height 1 base where there is a threat level 105 situation brewing here. This is apparently the, the main enemy stronghold in the province. If we can take this, we can retake Headmark and give ourselves a foothold. Final Assault. Leave them alone for more than a couple of seconds and they'll absorb all the damage you deal out like it's nothing. Home Guard Scout reports as you as you near the enemy base. We've been focusing on one mech at a time in order to take them down. Worrying news, but forewarned is forearmed. Your crew is disciplined enough that you note their reaction only in pilots' exchanged glances. You run through a final check of your crew with your crew. This will be the greatest challenge the Brigade has faced so far. Preparation is everything. All right, let us make our battle preparations. Little, little concerned about that threat level 105. We have combat capable reserves, enemy reserves that we are facing. It looks like three on site. Prediction for the squad is hard. We are still limited to just two mech units though which is worrisome because the mission text says can be accomplished with three to four units <laughs> but hopefully we've got home guard units available still having kind of a hard time understanding the board though I'm guessing all the red marks are enemy units so if that's true that's a lot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 enemy units with a whole bunch in reserve off there to the left. Another four, it looks like. So, I don't know. All right, we're leaving uh, Malachi and Bookworm in the pilot seats. I don't think there's anything, any reason to make any changes to anybody. So, we've already swapped out parts and upgraded to the best that we've got so far, except we're not using that sniper rifle just yet. Very chunky military installation. I'm wondering if those red containers there are explosive. Oh, there are multiple Alarm towers, it looks like. Priority info from Home Guard. Enemy stronghold has a generator powering perimeter turrets. Advise knocking that out. Whiskey ec Echo whiskey assets are degrading enemy comms. Recommend we mop them up before reinforcements arrive. This is Magistrate Actual. Radio check over. Any call sign? Copy my last. Requesting backup immediately. We have contact with a walker squad. Golly gee. All right, turrets. One, two, three, four. Four turrets. So hopefully those are part of the uh, the red pips that we saw on the hollow table. So this location is protected by turrets. Turrets will scan the area and fire on any units in range. Stay out of range to avoid damage. All right. Destroying this generator... We'll disable turrets. Try using this home guard mech's long-range beam to do the job. Okay, wonderful. We've got Slicer. We have a Slicer. Or is that his call sign? Anyway. This home guard unit has a powerful melee weapon. To melee, select a destination and the mechs will fly toward it, striking targets in its path? The mech will fly toward it? Like with boosters, I'm guessing. Well, that'll be fun to play with. Okay, here we go. Uh, side objective. Destroy the generator. Am I recording? I am. I am recording. I just had a, a little uh, little heart stoppage moment there. Alright, side objective. Destroy the generator to disable the turrets. 
Reinforcements eliminate all targets and prepare to engage enemy reinforcements. So it seems like we can't prevent the enemy reinforcements. They're just gonna show up. So this thing that looks like an alarm tower, at least it, it was an alarm tower in that village that we liberated, that doesn't sound like a possibility this time. Okay, so... Oh my goodness. Hostile machine gun. It is not doing anything. I wonder if they don't plan their actions. If they respond in, in real time. Alright, this hostile tank is going to drive into the center road. And, man, that's a lot of shots coming in. And is going to shoot at this melee guy. This tank is going to drive in to there. Who's he shooting at? Oh, this guy. But it looks like the building's in the way. So we'll have to, we'll have to make sure that the melee home guard unit is kept away from both of these tanks while also probably engaging this guy. Oh, brother. Okay. He's running. He's going to... It looks like fire a rocket. Because we've got that parabola again. Hopefully, though, like as soon as he shoots it, his... The stream turns dotted, so hopefully it'll just hit that building. Probably not. I probably won't get that lucky. But who's he shooting at? Can't really tell, because you can't see the end of the parabola, so we're not sure who he's shooting at, but... Ah, this guy it looks like. And we've got a shield mech here who is going to move into position to defend the turret generator it looks like he also has a missile launcher so he's going to be shooting at bookworm so we need to get bookworm into a position to protect from that rocket and finally this guy is moving in and what does he have? He's got a machine gun, so that's got a long attack. Currently blocked. So I'll need to make sure that Malachi is not in range there. Oh, brother. Okay, so let's... Let's use let's use this beam. Um, the beam has a very long attack distance, optimal range. So fortunately, if I shoot this direction, uh, hopefully that will also impact these two tanks because they're going to get in the way. As is this mech. Um, so I don't... Why... Why did I set that to... To shoot there? We want to shoot immediately. Okay. Now the melee home guard unit. Slicer. Alright, remember, we need... We need him. He's being shot at by the tanks here. Looks like it. So maybe what we do is we move him to here. Or can we wait? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. No, he is gonna take he is gonna take a shot right here. So let's see what this melee is. Perform a close range attack with the primary weapon. This will heat up the unit. So let's Above maximum range collision. Oh, with, I'm guessing, the building. Alright, so let's move him first. 
Let's get him down to here. This will put this building in between him and the two tanks that are moving toward him. And hopefully block from this turret as well. And then there, he's going to execute a melee. Oh. Well, let's see. Maybe we don't... What is this red weirdness? Is that the arc of his swing? Maybe that's what that is. Not sure. So he's going to rush in and hit right there, but it looks like... I don't know. I'm not sure how... This will be the first time we've done this, so we'll, we'll have to see how that works. If this collision... is going to actually be a collision, or if this is just the collision is represents the melee attack taking effect. So, I don't know. And then from there, we're going to need to get him... Because that he'll still be taking tank shots. So we'll need to move him back here, I guess. And can he make a shooting attack? Okay, well, we'll see how that works. And now Longbow, who is being shot at presently. Right about there by that enemy mech. Let's see. I wish I could see the range. What is the range? Oh, there we go. Oh, the range is relatively short. Attack scan. Alright, so as long as I stay here. Well, okay, he's gonna get into range, so that's that's unfortunate. But we're gonna bring him, we're gonna pull him back, so. Okay. My goodness. Let's see. Alright, Malachi can dash now. So, let's see, if I move up, to there, I don't want to get in the way of that beam attack, because that will, that will damage me as well. Can I go under it? I wonder, I wonder if that's high enough that I can get under it. It looks like I can. Oh, nope. That looks like it'll impact the head. Alright, so let's let's stick here. We're gonna move to this location. And then we're gonna start shooting at tanks. Like there. There he is. All right, so let's get him there. Actually, he's gonna he's gonna hit his own his own fellow there. That's awesome. Love it when that happens. All right, and then get another attack on him just in case he's still alive. So block. He is being shot at, but he's being he's uh the shot's being blocked, so he should be good. And then we'll move him elsewhere next turn. Alright, bookworm, let's get you into a position to help this home guard unit against this mech. So we're gonna run you to here. And at this point, so you don't get attacked at all this turn. 
So they haven't seen you coming yet. And then you're just gonna wait here. Actually, let's move you even farther. Oh, wait, no, this guy, this guy's taking a shot at you. That's right. Okay. So we need you to shield then. Right about there. And we're going to protect from this guy. And that attack extends into this sequence here as well. So we're going to... We're going to need to shield you twice. But at that point, you will then be in striking range of this enemy mech if he's still on his feet. All right, I think we're good. Let's see how this plays out. Come on, beam guy. Take care of that turret building. Oh, here comes that rocket. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Good work on destroying that generator, Commander. Turret should be down now. Awesome. Okay. Great. Let's replay, because there was an awful lot happening there, and I was only focused on the beam. So the beam is going. Boom, 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 boom. It... Does it hit the tank, or does the tank stop? But what it does do is it hits that mech. Boom. I think it is damaging this tank here. Yeah, it is taking some damage. And let's see, Malachi takes a couple shots at that tank. Does he get it? At this point? Yep, crashed, concussed, and destroyed. Pilot is deceased. Nicely done, Malachi. Uh, that rocket, though, I don't know where that's headed. If that is headed at at you? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay, here come the rockets at... Oop. Just hitting the shield right there on... Uh, uh, bookworm. So, we'll have to keep the shield up because we've got one, two, three, four, looks like four or five little rockets coming at us there. And let me see, how did how did this attack work? It totally whiffed. Okay, so didn't do that correctly at all. But he did turn around, pursue, and he got a shot into the back of this guy. So he is damaged, but still in fighting condition. Okay, so we now have... All right, we've got damage here. He's slightly damaged. This guy is undamaged completely. The turrets are all down without getting a single shot off. So let's continue with the beam weapon and have him shoot at this guy. Malachi, we're going to get you the heck out of that range. So we're going to have you move to, let's have you run to here. Actually, you know what? I totally forgot. Derp. Check to see what the guys are doing. All right, he's still shooting. He's waiting, then he's running, and then he's going to blast this melee home guard unit in the back. Slicer. So we need to get him out of the way. Maybe we have him turn around and charge this guy. Now that the turrets are disabled, I don't have to worry about those. This guy is still running. Does he have a melee unit? What is that? Or weapon? Oh no, that's just a white streak that... Okay, never mind. But he is continuing to shoot at Bookworm there. So we'll need to make sure we keep that shield up. 
And this guy is going to do what? He's going to shoot at... He's shooting at Malachi. Malachi is in optimal range, so... We might want to fall back with him. Actually, if we get Malachi over to here, because this tank is moving out. So if we could get Malachi onto this side of the of the road and finish off this tank here. So maybe that's what we do with him. So what we'll do is we'll dash him over to here. And then wait for heat to cool down. Actually, we're going we're gonna to wait until... Actually, no, let's move him now. Now that, now that he's out of harm's way. We can actually move him. And then... When this tank is in range right there, we start plugging him. Okay, that's good. Um, he is still going to be getting shot at by this enemy mech, though. So we're going to need to make sure that doesn't happen. All right. You are still taking shots, so we're going to keep we're going to keep your shield up. Protecting against this guy. Still, still, still. Boy, I really want to get a shot off, though. But if this guy is focused on him and we're just protecting ourselves, he's just about wasting his, his efforts. So then right about there... He stops shooting, so now we can get an attack in. On this guy. Because he's just standing there. He's not moving, he's just, he's just attacking. So, okay, melee guy. Um, I think maybe what we do with you is move you this direction. You're just going to charge this guy. And then can we get a melee attack in there? I'm trying to figure out how this works. Like, to me, that's saying that's going to be a hit. So we'll see if that... We'll see if that works. And then... For good measure... Oh, we're not going to get a shot off. Okay, so... Rushing in, get a melee attack. Alright, you, friend, are... Beaming this guy. So you're going to follow him through. You're probably going to cut through that building. Is that everybody? He's got actions. He's shielding. He's just beaming. And this guy. Okay. Let's see if we succeed. Oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much going on. Whoa. Whoa. Holy smoke, that was just... Okay. Malachi. Let's, let's, let's go one at a time here. So Malachi, you get your run and... Oh, okay, we, we didn't time that right. So your, the beam did hit Malachi as he passed through. He, is, he was too tall. He did take some shots from that guy there. But he got here, took a few more shots, and right there managed to destroy that tank. So mission accomplished there, well done. Uh, the beam, 
followed that mech very nicely. Just cut through both of those buildings like a knife through butter. And just look at all those little rockets heading for... Headed for Bookworm. Uh, those are impacting, though. A lot of those are impacting. So I think I didn't time the, the shield right. Um, the attack action had completed, but the rockets were still en route. So when I started uh, this attack right here. So that's disappointing that I did not do that correctly. And then let's take a look at him. So, ooh, he took a rocket in the back there. Running, 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 and then... Okay, good. Oh, nice. Boom. D did we take him out? Oh, <gasps> that took him out in that one shot. Okay, so melee weapons are really powerful because that guy had not taken any damage at all. Very nice. Okay, so... I think I know what we're going to do next time. All right, two mechs. That's all that's left. So he's going to fall back. Who are we looking at here? He's falling back, and he's going to start shooting some rockets at the melee unit. Both of them are. Look at that. Both of them. He's falling back, and then he's going to shoot his uh, handgun, I guess? Or oh, it's assault rifle. Nope. Nope, he's shooting the MLS. Okay. All right, in that case, let's get Malachi to run to here. Uh, right arm heavily damaged there. That is disappointing that I mismanaged that so poorly. Um, let's get a shot right here on this guy, and then we're going to hold, wait for heat to dissipate, get another one, just in case he's still alive. Bookworm, you are still taking a punishing from these rockets. But what I want you to do is pursue this guy. You're going to get right here. And you're going to shotgun this guy. And then we're going to hold. Oh, wait. You're going to be too hot. Alright, let's move your shotgun attack to there then. That'll actually be more in optimal range than previous. And then we're not going to be able to get another shot on. Uh, are you taking shots? You're not. Nope. Okay, so we don't need to shield you up either. So we'll just leave you there. And the beam unit is going to put all of his energy on this guy. So... Oh, can he? He's overheating big time. And there are reinforcements coming. So I don't want to... I don't want him damaged too badly. So we're going to let him wait for the entire turn so that he can cool down. That beam weapon is super, super hot, which makes sense. It's a five second burn. It lasts the entire round. All right, Slicer, um, let's have you move. Let's see. You are going to be taking attacks. So if I put you here... Can I hide you here? And then can you shoot through this building?
Is that... A, is that a decent shot? Oh, it's blocked. Okay, what if we just start shooting before we move? So shoot. Oh, maybe not. It's, it's, that is going to hit these buildings here. So he's kind of in a bad spot right now. Uh, but I don't want to get him into melee range with this because the beam's going to be coming at this guy. So I think maybe what we'll do is just we'll post him up behind this building. To chill out. Rockets are going to be incoming. And then right about there. So we'll wait him. Wait, 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 wait. And then we'll dash him. To there. And then maybe maybe from there we we start shooting. Nah, we can't. Okay. So not not going to be a whole lot of attacks happening this turn. But, alright, let's watch from this angle. Alright, beam. Where's my beam? Oh, that's right, because he's, he's chilling out. Alright, so this mech is down. That was nice. Alright, so beam guy is cooling down. Malachi comes around this building. Blap, blap, blap. This guy in the back takes him down. Nicely done. Crash destroyed, pilot deceased. This guy is still up, though. Boom. He did take a shot. Oof. Uh, bookworm. Taking a lot of hits there. Um, those, I guess those rockets were still, were still inbound. <laughs> okay. Plan. The plan is for everybody to just blast this guy. So what is he going to do? He's running around the corner. So, uh, beam guy, you're going to chill out again. Let's get Malachi. You're gonna you're gonna sit tight, and as soon as so he's coming around, he's gonna hop over the roof of that building right into his sights. So we're gonna get probably two shots. Oh come on, cool down. There we go. Two shots right in the front. Meanwhile, Bookworm, you're going to trot over to here. And you're going to blast him. And hopefully this, this should take him out. He's going to have four very close range shots. And you're just going to chill again. Actually, you know what? I want to see if these are warning towers. So you're gonna, you're just gonna shoot at this thing. And so the melee guy, you've taken a lot of damage. So you're gonna, you're gonna hang out. Retreat from the combat zone. This can only be executed if in an active retreat zone. Pilot eject. I don't think I want to do any of that. We're just gonna... Uh, he won't be in... in... danger of being sh hit by any... Well, let's just move him just a, just a little bit. We'll, we'll put him here. And then he can wait the rest of the turn. Have a sandwich. Alright, this... I'm betting this will take this guy. Boom. Blast, blast. 
Get another one. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. No? Oh my goodness. Oh, he is ejecting though. Okay, so he's ejecting, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about him anymore. Retreat status status. Extraction available, retreating will result in defeat. Yeah, we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna do that. So what we are gonna do now, I don't know where reinforcements are gonna come from. So we are going to turn around and just start blasting all of these things that look that looked to us like like the um, alarm towers from from that that mission where we liberated the the village okay Maybe that's like a load-bearing <laughs> section right there. That's why you get 100% damage. I don't know. All right, and he's gonna heat up and come on, cool down, cool down. Nuts. That's a shame. Okay. So you're gonna take care of that one. Uh, did did you you didn't destroy this, buddy? Buddy, I needed you to destroy this. Oh, he's hot again. All right, you're gonna you're gonna chill out then. You are not extracting. Uh, we are gonna wait you facing facing the town though, or the base. You, sir, we're going to run you into the town. Why do I keep calling it a town base? And let's see, can I get you up onto here? Okay, I can't really get you very far. All right, we'll just put you there. And... All right, Bookworm. Let's have you... Alright, he's gonna be ejecting. Can I get you to here? Alright, let's get you to here, and then once you're there, you're gonna start plugging away at this building. Let's see if we can take it down. Just in case it actually is an alarm tower. Alright, that's everybody. So he's running. Gonna eject. Right? He didn't eject. Wait a minute. Oh. Magistrate Actual, this is Guardian 1. Say again your coordinates for contact. Transmission is good but distorted. Over. Guardian 1, they're at the base requesting immediate assistance. Over. Nuts. That guy was supposed to eject. He lied to me. He is ejecting. He's still ejecting. Alright. Well... Poo. This building is coming down. So that worked. Uh, reinforcements have already been called though, so I think what we need to do... We don't know where they're coming from unless it's that. What is that? That is a tank. There are tanks. They're all destroyed. All this stuff is wrecked. Okay, so we just don't know where they're going to come from. Do we see them on the horizon? Do not know. Do not know. Okay, so we're going to get everybody into the town then. Give everybody cover behind buildings. And prepare. Let's get you on top of this building here. And bookworm. Let's get you. 
Let's see. I guess you're fine where you are. We'll just have you wait and face this direction in case they that's where they're coming from. And my beam trooper. We're going to need you to run into town. Let's have you come this way. Oh, you can't get very far. What is happening? Why can you not move? Are you that heavy? Alright then, we'll have you dash. Wow, this guy's just super, super slow. Is the weapon that heavy? And you, I already moved you, so from here you're gonna wait and you're just gonna face this direction. Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing, nothing like Overwatch. Actually, let's move you a little farther. Or... Do we have you attack this? Leaving it, I don't think I don't think that's gonna. It's not gonna help us. Reinforcements have already been called. We've got two turns. All right, there goes the ejection, and everybody is just hanging out now. shoot rockets at that thing. Everybody else is just gonna wait. Except for you. You're coming in. You're coming in still. Uh, can I get him up here? There we go. Let's move him up on top of that roof. So he's got a little bit of a better eye. Wow, he really doesn't get very far at all. Oh, brother. Alright, you are just going to wait facing this direction. There's definitely action going on that way. did manage to destroy this tower. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that did any good. Uh, and we're still... Alright, let's move him up to here. Uh, he is still making this run. It's going to take him another five seconds. I kind of feel like the extraction point would not be where reinforcements, enemy reinforcements would come from. Because that tells me that this area is well defended on our side. So let's move. Let's start moving him this direction to back up the melee guy. different building I can get you on top of. Doesn't look like it. So you're going to wait. Just face that road. So weird. 
Oh, there's the hostile contacts. Alright, Guardian 1 on site, engaging rebel elements. Um... Did... Alright, appreciated Guardian 1, coordinating fire arcs with you. Out. Did... Did he just shoot a dude in the back? Oh, that's just, I guess, impacts, impact damage, or their boosters, their um, landing boosters firing, perhaps. All right, so we've got this guy who's just running. And this guy who's running and firing an attack. Oh, really? That's weird. He's launching an attack all the way over here. Tank here. Tank there. Okay, well, rats. I wish, uh, I wish I had moved these guys differently then. So. In that case... We are running you this direction. Well, let's see. All these rockets are going to be blocked if I put him here. Blocked, blocked, blocked. So if I move him to here... Also fire these rockets back at him. How about that? Or maybe at this guy. Oh no, that's not. Okay. How can they how come they they can shoot at me, but I can't shoot at them? Do their do their rockets have a better better range. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. All this seems to suggest that they're going to be blocked. So, that tank... Could send these rockets at that tank then. Because he's in range right there. Alright, melee guy. No, that was the melee guy. This is this dude. So you're gonna get up on top of this building and you're gonna start shooting at this guy. Actually, can that beam, what if that beam hits? No, we want it, we want it right when you get up here. So right there, you're gonna start your beam attack on him. It's gonna cut through the building, but it'll follow him, hopefully. You, sir, are you being attacked at any point? Yes, you are. The tank is shooting at you, but is blocked. So, let's see. This guy is going to be in range right there. So, you're going to start making a perfect attack there. And who else do I have? Bookworm. Let's see. You're moving out. You aren't taking any shots. So if I dash you to here and then run you this direction...
Well, actually, I'm kind of afraid that we're gonna we're gonna get hit here. So, if I put you here, or what I could do is have Malachi shoot at the guy on the left, maybe instead. Or I could just move him. So this means Malachi's attacks attack. I'm gonna have to change. Let's actually move him. To there. And I can actually start making attacks on this guy to the left instead. That beam will hopefully be following. And at this point, we can start blasting at this guy. Oh, he's not quite, he's not in optimal range. He's, he's coming out of optimal range. So I think what we need to do is keep plunking at this guy instead. Okay, is that all four of them? Yep, not. Not too great, but it's gonna be okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's moving too slow to be useful. But I think what we can do is use him on this tank next time. Uh, did these tank uh, rockets impact uh, a little bit? Maybe not. Not yet. Whoa! What happened to this guy? What is that? I don't... Pilot ejecting? This guy? What are you doing? Really? Interesting. Okay, so... There's that. He is going to run in and collide with Bookworm while he's shooting rockets at this guy way over here. That is, that is strange behavior. He is driving, not shooting, and this guy is driving. He will be making an attack. So, Beam Buddy... I know you're overheated, but if we can get this done, we'll be all right. Then we can send you back to your your home site, Mech Bay. Um, that is going to end right there. Okay, so let's put Malachi, let's move Malachi here. Actually, can I run him to here? That'll avoid the enemy tank fire from the left. Get some shots there. Well, that's unfortunate that... Could I get a shot? Yeah, it won't be... It won't be... Oh, yeah, it'll be all right. 87%. Not bad. All right, and now... Bookworm, we're in a collision 
here, so we're gonna have to have you fall back. Actually, we can dash you. To there. And then turn. Yeah, we gotta do it. I know you're overheating, but... We have to do it. Okay, maybe we don't dash you so far. Or do we have to dash you at all? Because what we want to do is avoid this collision. Which it looks like we'll do. There. And then, you can just turn around. And plunk this guy. Maybe twice. Uh, not quite. Bummer. All right, but he's not even being attacked by anybody, so I don't need to. I don't need to shield up. All right, beam guy, we know what you're doing. And slicer. Let's see, you're taking rocket attacks, so we want to get you behind something that will protect you from that. Like maybe this building or this building. Can't get you that far. How about a dash then? Okay, we'll dash you to there. And then run you over to here. And at the same time... Have you start shooting a couple rockets at that guy? Okay, those two just barely missed each other. Tank's down. That tank is down. This guy is still in real good shape, unfortunately. Alright, that beam just did nice work against... That tank, he's down. This mech is pilot ejected. This guy's in almost perfect health. Oh, no, he's not. Wow, he's taking a lot of damage. All right, never mind. And let's see, what did we do with that tank? That's it. Unfortunately, my plan to have those, to hide behind this tall building to avoid those rockets did not work for the first, <laughs> the first two and the last one. So he's still hurting. Real unfortunate there. All right, let's let's go. This is our last our last one. So he's gonna start falling back and shooting at the beam guy. You sure you want to do that? All right. Well then, this tank is down. It doesn't even have its uh, its roof. So you, we're gonna bring you to. How far does he run? So we're gonna have you step out, and then we're gonna wait for this guy to get there, and then you're gonna start shooting. And then cool down to there, shoot again. Bookworm, let's have you move. Actually, we could have you wait until there. Blast him. And he's going to be out of range at that point, so, so we're going to wait you until there. And then we're going to put you in pursuit. How is that a collision? Or is that the enemy mech is colliding with. I'm not sure I'm getting that. Oh, he's still... Maybe we wait a little more? I'm not... I'm not too sure what's going on with this... this yellow... 
dome that's around the enemy. But I think we'll wait you to there. Then we'll put you in pursuit. Oh, okay, so this guy's gonna be colliding with this crashed mech. That's what's going on. Hmm. Alright, well let's just uh let's worry about this beam guy then. Maybe we can finish finish him off. Taking a lot of damage, though. Okay, and we want to track. A little bit, because he's moving to the left, so we want to move to the left a little bit, because the weapon is hard to... turn. Alright, well this is really unfortunate here with this guy. And there are still more incoming, so we're going to dash. Can I dash this way? That'll be a collision. Alright, so we're going to dash back. See if we can avoid this missile that's incoming. Alright, let's run it. Oh boy. Crumpled. Crumpled like wet toilet paper. Nicely done. Okay. Woohoo! Alright, what is this? Contact 267. Okay, we didn't get anything recovered automatically. We do have the battery. We have one, two, three, four, five mechs. Two, de two are destroyed, three are destroyed, two are intact. So maybe we focus on those. Got a budget of 270. Claiming the two hostile mechs gets us to 195. And then we can. Let's see, what is this? Maybe we will claim this. I don't know that we have one of those. Our only experience with those have been with Home Guard units. There's another one. Dismantle this destroyed mech? No. So we need to reduce 15 more points. Okay, that's 265. Can we grab anything else in salvage? Shield, maybe? No. Torso. I don't think anything is five points. So we might just have to sacrifice five salvage points. Okay. Not bad, though. Minus 200 enemy weakened, so that'll give us control of the territory. Province liberated. Thanks to your efforts, the enemy was driven out of the contested province. Resistance forces will hold it from here on out. Really? Like, permanently? Word of victory brings contagious joy. Even your most stoic mechanic breaks into a teary grin upon your return from battle. When one of your pilots does a celebratory shuffle in their mech, giant metal feet scraping across the earth, you don't even have the heart to lecture them. 
You know the war will be tough, and some of your crew are so young. You let their relieved laughter wash over you, a pressure valve released. Ahead there may be grim days. For now, this moment, there is hope. The province is free. All right, a free head mark. In the days following the victory at the base, celebrations erupt across the province. The brigade is offered a special place in a small village parade, your mechs leading a procession of farm trucks and horses. There seems no end to the gifts of farm fresh homemade treats. Your sweet tooth pilot can't bring themselves to, to turn down a single cobbler or strudel and will almost certainly be contentedly ill by the night's end. The villagers want to know the brigade's stories, who your families are, and what, the provinces, what provinces you call home. Just as they're not only people to save, just as they're not only people to save, you're more than soldiers. Join. Meet the people you've fought for. With head marks secure, you can advance into the next province. But now that the enemy is aware of the Phantom Brigade's presence, the fights ahead will be more challenging. Tread carefully. Patrols roaming the provinces ahead will pursue and engage you on site. While not formidable, patrols are always worth are not always worth engaging. Consider upgrading the base to outrun, stun, or outmaneuver them. Interesting. The escalation level rises with every attack and every hour spent in hostile territory. As the level increases, fights will be more difficult. Consider retreating to Headmark to lay low and resupply if things get too hectic. How you proceed next is up to you. Invest resources into upgrading the base or into building more mechs. Contest the province immediately or explore sites like the workshop first. Definitely want to do the workshop because that's probably where we can start building a new mech. There are many paths to victory. Cruise? Wow. Boy, okay, well, we have liberated Headmark. Congratulations to us. And this next province is quite a bit larger. And let's see how many other provinces there are. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Ostbagger Real is obviously the next our next target, but that was it. So I think for now, we're going to give our pilots and mechanics and soldiers a rest. Let them celebrate their victory and the liberation of Headmark. Folks, thanks for joining me for this episode of Phantom Brigade. Hope you hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye now.